Hey, hey, Internet, Swag here. And if you've been keeping up with CV2 news, you already know we got some new toys to play with. The Piston, Rotator, and SFX gadgets have made their way into CV2. Now they changed a bit since CV1, so let's check out what's up. Before we get to work, let's turn CV2 on. We go to this room, go to General Setup, and we tag Allow Creative Tools Beta Content. If we apply settings, sure, whatever. There we go, it will save the room, and if you go to your Make Pen now, and open Palette, it should show the Circuits V2 tab. Excellent. Our Piston and Rotator, however, are not found under our Circuits V2 tab. They can be found on the gadgets, gizmos, and after the Piston V1, we have the Piston V2. And after the Rotator, we have the Rotator V2. Our SFX gadget can be found in other chips. And there we have all SFX2, each with their own control chip. Now something we can find in our Circuits V2 tab is our get and set chips for the piston, rotator and SFX chip. Uh, my favorite one is the set market distance. It's a bit new. It functions somewhat like our old style move to. Where you can specify with the yellow pin which piston it works on. And if we give it a value of let's say one meter, then once this piston hits one meter, it will fire an execution from our finished pin. There are a lot of other chips to play around with as well. So give those a look. Main one we're going to be focusing on for our demonstration setup is the piston set distance chip. Which will simply allow us to set our piston at a certain distance. But once we wire it up with the 30 hertz receiver, the movement can come out looking very, very smooth. Let's do this thing. Now the system we're going to build for our tutorial is going to follow a player around. Which means we need to have a player variable. In this case, it doesn't really matter much if it's instance or synced. So here I'm going with a synced player. And we will have to update that with the player's value. In props, dynamic, and a button v2, we can output an execution to set our value, and we use the value of the player that pushed the button. Now to make sure that we got that proper, let's get ourselves a button set text and a two string chip. Our two string will change the player value into a text value that can be displayed on the button. So we wire that to the text. The target is our button and it will ex execute after it has set the value of our chip. So in theory, if I wired everything up correctly, once I push this button, it should display the name of the person that pressed the button because it is the name of the person that is in the sync player chip is turned into a string is turned into text. Excellent. There we have part one. Part two is going to be our actual tracking system. So we need to get the position of the player and this might come as a big surprise but for that we will use a get position chip. There we go. The target is the player we have put into our sync player chip. And its position needs to be split up in its three coordinates. Because we will have one piston for our X axis and one piston for our Z axis. One of the other parts we want onto our setup is an on and off button. Go to props, we go to dynamic, and we get ourselves a toggle button V2. Then, from circuits V2, we get to not just regular if chips, but if expression chips. 
and we will be using these as gates. So we wire our X chip to the then pin, or C pin to the other then pin, and wire both of these to the is pressed. Now what this is going to do is if the button is pressed, it will output a true value. If the if expression gets a true value, then this value will be output from the result. Otherwise, it will output a zero, essentially turning it off. Another thing we will, will require in our setup, because we're probably not going to get a perfect zero point, is an add chip. And we will be using this add chip to calibrate the position of our piston. And I think we can get ourselves our two pistons. So I think the zero point of this room is somewhere around here. I can line myself up with the with the logos. Yeah. Well, to demonstrate the the configuration system. Let's just put them the slightest bit off. I think that's C, I think that's X. It might be the other way around. I don't know. We'll find out as soon as we wire these things up. We need a piston set distance chip. One for you and one for you. Our target is here and here. And the value we want to set that at is our output from our at chip. I'm just wiring these things together. We'll see in a bit if they're wired up proper or not. But first, to make these piston set distance... Man, that's, that's a mouthful. To make these piston set distance chips function, we require... Aha! An event receiver. And we shall configure that to update it to 30 hertz. Wire it back to our piston set distance. And the output from that piston set distance to the input of our other one. If it is proper, these pistons should update at 30 updates a second to the position of the player that has pressed this button once I turn this button on. So, let's try this thing out. Oh, first problem. I haven't wired my one piston to the other. Good thing I made an on off button first. So here we go. All right, that's a bit overshot. That's a bit overshot. This is why we have our add chip. Now I'd say that is a, it's about a meter. So if I say minus one, we're adding minus one. So we get a minus value. So the piston moves back a little bit. Yeah, that's about right. I think I want the nib to be right in line with my face. So how about 1,4? Yeah, that's about good enough. Now let's get the other one. That's off by... Well, let's, let's try about 2 meters. There we go. Oh, that's in my neck. Yep, that's working. Cool. Let's turn a button off. Stays over there. Turn a button on. And it follows me around. Lovely. Not as many a thing you can clamp to a following system. Your imagination is the limit. I clamped Stan on a rotator to it, so it can haunt people. And I'm quite curious to see what you will come up with, or what other creations will find their way from your brain to the canvas of Rec Room with these new gadgets. But for now, I hope you use your newfound knowledge wisely, and to see you in the next one. Bye!